Hello, hello everyone. Universal Bootloader, which is a uh, shortly called U Boot. In this session, we will going to see about a yeah, brief info introduction about the U Universal Bootloader and uh, how we can build it or configure it and flash it on for the U Do Neo platform. Basically, here we have the introduction. U bootloader is an universal bootloader which is shortly called U boot. It's open source and primary bootloader used in various embedded systems nowadays. Earlier we will have different for bootloaders. Each vendor will give different different one. Nowadays most of the embedded systems uses that universal bootloader. Earlier we have something like a red boot and then uh, something like eboot different bootloaders are available over the period that u bootloader become a universal to all the embedded system it was available over uh, the period of time it has been supported with the various features and various uh, embedded system processors like pro architectures like uh, arm MIPS and then we have SH and then we have something like a power PC something we have something like a ARM V8 architecture and something we have some AVR architecture and something we have DaVinci and something we have uh, Blackfin all those process microblaze all those micro dialing micro blaze processor all those things uses that u bootloader basically universally it becomes a bootloader for an embedded systems it basically initializes and then boots the linux kernels initializes the ddr ram and uh, peripherals mmc or uh, uh, um, mmc and storage kind of peripherals and it boots the linux kernel from it basically and it has the embedded system will be having that limited memory space that's why the image has been compressed and flashed into that uh, memory and uh, it has been taken and uh, U-Boot will take that image and it extract that image and handle the image and uh, boots that image basically and it has been provided with the various arguments to DS3 and kernel arguments to the kernel so that it will act as same different way for the different kind of platform and it contains first and second stage bootloader for a Udunio platform first stage bootloader basically initializes the DDR RAM and then it boots that second stage bootloader from loads the second stage bootloader from the EM, uh, flat, uh, micro SD card and then it loads into the memory and runs it again basically that we have basically the boot flow will be something like this boot room that uh, i.mx6 I uh, boot room will load that first stage bootloader and it initializes that memory and loading that second stage bootloader then the second stage bootloader will get run basically in order to compile or prepare our system we need to install different dependencies on our systems basically here we have that dependencies over here once we get that ubuntu system maybe we have to do update and upgrade so that our system will be updated to the latest distributions with the Ubuntu and uh, we have different needs of the file the packages something like GA, WK, WG to get the file from the repository and get to get that file and zip the file and uh, what are the essential needed for the build build essentials and mini come to show that uh, hyper terminal kind of a thing and is it l is it up to compress and uh, provide that uh, linux kernel image compressed and decompressed one that we have to do that before going to install that one we have then we have that cross compiler gnu ccc cross compiler it should have been installed with that gcc om linux gnu aabi and g++ is for c++ kind of thing maybe for a uh, u-boot we just need gcc om linux gnu aabi hf aabi is supported added with the floating point and 
hf is that one arm v7 and architectures and above it does not have the backward compatibility we cannot run that arm v gnu uh, eaba hf compiled one cannot be run on the arm v6 or v5 kind of architecture based processors basically and we can do that configuration and building we can do that downloading and configuration and building over here basically and i have to open that this one yeah i have to log in got hanged up yeah, my memory is slow yeah it's virtual box basically i have a terminal and uh, yeah maybe i can have to fit 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 it for you to capture yeah cd media just a second maybe i need to do this one yeah now it should get mounted media nevicom and then 8 so that should be there <coughs> yeah here then we can do that embedded linux here maybe we can download that this one over here maybe i just install that git and everything it should be straightforward to download basically download may take may take a five to five to ten minutes yeah yes we got downloaded basically that objects from here i am going to maybe i am going to enter into that uboot.imx and then in order to configure this one we may have to use this udo neo def config it's the default configuration for the udo neo platform that we are doing and we have the defining basically as we discussed earlier the u boot loader has been ported or supports different architectures something like arm mips uh, blackfin and mips all those things we are configuring our architecture is the arm since that uh, i.mx you do near new platform is based on i.mx which is arm cortex a9 we are configuring that our processor is arm 9 arm based processor and we have giving that cross compile prefix that is arm hyphen line arm we are giving that architecture as arm and we are giving that uh, the prefix is arm linux gnu aba and then make is to create that build start the build that one and we are giving that a default configuration is you do new platform yeah this we are giving here it takes five ten seconds maybe hardly 20 seconds yeah it's done it does to configure that uh, default configuration of you do new as a config file to use basically and when we do that compilation building that one we have to use this one the similar way architecture is arm and cross compiler prefixes arm linux gnu eabi hf that we have using here the build will take around uh, two to five minutes maybe we shall wait yes now we got it compiled that you boot loader maybe we should have uh, different the files needed maybe we can check it here the output files are spl and uh, uboot.img something like this basically spl is that first stage bootloader and uh, uboot.img is the second stage bootloader basically and we can see that whether the those files are available here yeah yes we have this one and then we have that spl file both are both the files are available maybe next we will go into that flashing how we can able to flash that one here i'm going to mount that 
micro SD card with a USB. I am connected with that micro SD card here and I am going to plug it here so that it will have to animate. Yeah. It got detected. Yeah. I have to do that USB generic mode storage and I have to see it got enabled yeah different different folders have been created to get that into that we have to do that unmove the file systems which are all present already maybe we have to do u mount media nevicom and boot and then we have to do root fs our thing is we can able to see here dev slash sdc if you missed to see maybe you can able to see by using yes d message that kernel log messages it will give that sdc is the one is a uh, device which we can we have to use it for flashing basically here we have given something like a uh, username and brutefs and we have to flash that spl at 1k location and flash that uboot.img to the uh, 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 uboot.img to the 69th k location basically and here we can do that using the dd command sudo dd if is an spl file and output is the one dev slash sdc and i have to give that something like this bs equal to 1k and seek equal to 1 yeah bs equals 1k and seek equal to 1 yeah it should i have to enter the password yeah it got copied basically and then we have uh, we have to do that dd if equal to u hyphen boot dot img and then output file is dev slash sdc and then bs equal to 1k and seek equal to 69 basically yeah now this got uh, created uh, maybe we have to do sync so that it should be sync to the disk that that should not be any cache should be present yeah maybe we have to do uh, eject parent drive so that it got removed and I'm uh, we got removed here maybe I'm going to connect this one to the platform over here I just removed and I'm going to connect it with the I'm going to connect this one here is the micro SD card present I'm going to connect it over here and there is some minicom uh, connections that it has to be done that USB to TTL that it has to be connected maybe I can do that diagram so that uh, you can able to see it there yeah uh, that yeah maybe i can do it directly mm, over here that you do neo serial console uh, connections something like this maybe we have to remove i have i will remove this and i am going to use uh, insert saves over here sorry here we should connect two pins that is one is txt and here it should be this way 
and we should do ground maybe this looks good and i am going to add something this is the board and uh, this is usb ttl over here it should be something like uh, if the usb ttl uh, it should be something like 47 the pin number is should be 47 yeah, i am going to insert yeah text text box here pin number 47 here pin number 47 here and uh, i'm going to do the same thing for here 46 and i'm going to do sorry i have missed earlier there is something ground pin this should go to the similar way it should go to the ground pin here and control C control V this is for this and we have to check we will confirm something like 47th pin is going to 47th pin is going to RXD of serial TTL and 46th pin is going to should go to TXD so that we should have that connections here and we I got it connected here from 47th pin where that debug yeah where the debug serial is printed here we have that pin and there will there is lot of grown pins you can see by the denominations that you can able to see here now i am going to connect it with the uh, pc yeah, we will see i just connect her yeah i am going to see usb device i got my device in the virtual box d message just just something missing yeah it got I have to open now pseudo minicom yeah it has been configured with this one earlier demo has shows that and uh, maybe I am going to power on my device now yes yeah now we can able to see that if the spl got booted from here and we can able to see that compilation date january 18 now and at 29 21 30 our compiled one got booted to confirm that maybe i may have something and i can boot it yeah it shows that i did correctly and i booted correctly yeah it looks good i am happy now and it has both the things something like a single stage bootloader also compiled version is same january 18 and 2130 and we can see that the second stage bootloader here it starts from january june 18 28 and 2130 here and we have this command command prompt here to enter that commands maybe we can do that and uh, we can see that the different uboot commands that can be used uh, in the next sessions and it's good to draw here over here i missed that one it looks good yeah you can contact me at nvhariharan at the rate of nevitech.com thanks for thank you for watching have a nice day and uh, subscribe if you are subscribe for more updates yeah bye